Welcome. I'm here in the Ashley National Forest in the Uinta Mountains. Going to be doing a solo backpacking and fishing trip. Seclusion is on the agenda. Going to be spending four days in here. Going to be hiking into Taylor Lake and doing trout fishing. And they're supposed to be pretty good size. We'll find out. But I am so glad you're coming along with me. Sun's going to be down shortly, so I'm going to pitch my tent right here, right next to the meadow, just across the creek, so i got water right here. This ought to be a great place. This is the map I'm using, the National Geographic Cayuentas Wilderness Map. This is what I did today. Started my backpacking fishing hike here at the Chapita Trailhead. I hiked in 1.6 miles, gaining 670 feet. I'm camping right here in this area at 10,500 feet above sea level. Good night. Top of the morning to you. Got an early start this morning on the mountain trail already. Outside my tent this morning I heard animals. When I went up to get my food bag there was a deer nearby. I figure I have about six to seven miles up to Taylor Lake. Excited to be on the trail. This is Chapita Lake. This is Lower Reader Lake. That looks like very old black bear scats. Taylor Lake. Okay, this looks like a nice camping spot. Place to sit. Put the tent right there. Taylor Lake's about 200 yards that way. Another lake's about 200 yards that way. I get the tent up quick. Looks like it might rain. I went to Taylor Lake and it had big boulders. It's very difficult to get to the water when I came down to this lower lake. This is the stream that feeds it. Well, this was my backpacking hike today. I started right here at my camp, and I came around this bend, then came up to Chapita Lake, and had beautiful views of these mountains here. Then I entered into the trees, hiked up a hill, then dropped down to Lower Reader Lake here. And came along here hiking, came to this junction and stayed to the right, and then hiked up this way, stayed to the left here, and then started to climb the mountain. 
And as I got closer up here, I had an incredible view of this whole area here. Just absolutely phenomenal view. Took a left here and crossed over this high mountain meadow and then dropped down towards Taylor Lake. And I am right in this area here camping. It was a 7.6 mile hike for me, 1,450 feet of elevation gain, and I'm camping at 11,250 feet above sea level. It's a very strenuous day of hiking. The sun now is down behind the mountain, so I'm going to call it a night. Good morning. This is exciting. I'm here at Taylor Lake. I'll be fishing all day. I'm going to go over here on the west side of it, fish over there. There's less boulders and stuff to deal with. Very long, Brookie, but starving. My goodness. If that was a healthy brookie, man, that would be an incredible catch. I've got a renegade fly and a black gnat on. And that brookie took the black gnat. I filled my bubble completely up and let it sink because they're not rising. I've switched to a black woolly bugger with the red attractor and a green woolly bugger with the red attractor. I did have a strike on them. I don't know which one, but I wasn't able to land that fish. Going down a 20 count. Got him. That's what you call a healthy brook trout. It's a female. Very pretty. Put a Jake spin lure on. Very nice, healthy female brook on a gold jake right on the surface. Hit the surface and started reeling and wham, got it. Very nice brookie. That's a pretty one. Nice chunky little brookie got it on a green woolly bugger with a red attractor. Had one. Oh, he took it. Caught this one on a green woolly bugger with a red attractor and a black gnat with a red attractor. Took both of them. Nice little male brookie. I haven't caught too many males. Caught him on a green woolly bugger. It's my last cast. Finished fishing here at Taylor Lake. Caught a total of 12 fish. Two male brookies and the rest were all female brookies. This is where I'm gonna cook my trout dinner. Don't need much of a fire just to get some hot coals. Got the six fillets from the three fish that I kept. Got panko breadcrumbs and Zatarain's blackened seasoning. The fillet and the breadcrumbs, get it covered. I'm gonna put a little more of Zatarain's blackened seasoning on them. So I really like this. And clarified butter. Fourth and final sheet of aluminum foil so the fish don't burn in the fire. Keep on turn it. Dish is done. All cooked and ready to eat. Excellent trout. I'm going to turn in. Good night. Good morning. Really enjoyed this campsite. So it's time to get on the trail and go back to the trailhead.
I'm about a half a mile from the Trapita Lake trailhead. I thought I would stop and give you some of my thoughts about my backpacking and fishing trip. My backpack hike today was 7.8 miles and an elevation gain of 900 feet. The forest is beautiful. It soothes my soul. The backpacking trail was really good, very well maintained. Probably one of the best trails that I've been on this year. The scenery in this place is something to behold. I thought the flowers were particularly beautiful. I describe them as a rugged delicateness. Butterflies everywhere. I saw two moose, I saw a deer and squirrel. And I'm gonna call the wildlife wondrous because I often wonder how it survives up here in the winter time. I thought the fishing was really good. Uh, didn't catch a ton, but I did catch a little bigger fish than I normally do in the Uinta Mountains. And the catch and cook fish dinner Something worthy of remark is that within the Rocky Mountain, the Uinta Mountain Range is the only range that runs east and west. Speaking of the Rocky Mountains, I did get a Rocky Mountain high. Thank you very much for coming along with me. So, until next time.